Removing a conversion tracking on your Shopify can be daunting or challenging to set up, especially if you didn't know the scripts that you wanted to implement and where it needs to be added. We all know that conversion is what every online advertiser wants. Any click that ends with the action that is desired for the business, a purchase, an email subscription, or just merely a confirmation of an appointment coming from an ad is counted as a conversion and is the main reason for having a Google Ads account. Every ads campaign that you're running for your website needs to be tracked. You have to know what searches, ads, products, and audiences succeeded or failed at bringing in your ROAS goal. Google Ads conversion tracking is to get the most value of their advertising efforts. The connection between a customer encountering an ad and purchases becomes more clear with tracking code setups. With this tutorial, we'll walk you through in adding a Google Ads event conversion code to your Shopify store. What we basically need to do is to choose an event and generate the code, then apply it to Shopify. You can start by logging into your Google Ads account at ads.google.com. Make sure that you select the correct ad account. Once you're in, navigate to the Conversions action. You can do that by clicking the Tools icon located on the top right of the page and under the Measurements section, click Conversions. This is where you should see all of the conversions reports and actions that you have created. Now let's create one and generate the appropriate code. Click the plus icon to create a new conversion action located on the upper left. Then choose website on the selection since this code will be applied to the website. First is to select the category that you wanted to track. These are categories that classify actions like purchase, add to cart, begin checkout, subscribe, and many more. Next is to enter a conversion name for the conversion that you will be tracking. This will help you recognize this conversion action in the conversion reports. Next is value. Select how to track the value of each conversion. You can either use the same value for each conversion and enter the amount each conversion is worth to your business. You can also use different values for each conversion. Use this option if, for example, you're tracking purchases of products with different prices or you can choose not to use any value. Next is count. Select how to count these conversions. For one, this setting is best for leads such as sign up form on your website when only one conversion per ad click likely adds value for your business. The every setting is best for sales when every conversion likely adds value for your business. Click the click through conversion window and select how long to track conversions after an ad interaction from the drop down. For search, shopping, and display campaigns, the window can be 1 to 90 days. Click the view through conversions window and select how long to track the view through conversions from the drop down. Again, for search, shopping and display campaigns the window can be 1 to 30 days for the include conversions this setting is selected by default and lets you decide whether or not to include data for this conversion action in your conversions reporting column if you uncheck this setting data will still be included in the all conversions column once everything is all set click the create and continue button To set up website conversion tracking for the first time, you need to add two code snippets to your website, the global site tag and the event snippet. 
what we need to do is to install this tag all by yourselves. So select that option. So we have two tag codes here. The global site tag and the event snippet. We'll install the global site tag first. So make sure to copy the global site tag. Next thing that you need to do is to log into your Shopify account at www.shopify.com. Once you're in, click the online store on the sales channel. Under the theme section, click the actions drop down and select edit code. Make sure that you're on the theme.liquid layout. What you need to look for is the opening head and the closing head. Paste the global site tag in between them. I recommend that you place them just right below the opening head so you won't mess up other tags. After you install the global site tag, you need to add the event snippet to your checkout page. The event snippet tracks a conversion anytime somebody clicks one of your ads and then later reaches the checkout page on your online store. Make sure to copy the event snippet on Google Ads. Go back to Shopify Home and click Settings at the bottom left of the page and select Checkout on the selection. Go to the Order Processing section, then you need to add the event snippet to the Additional Scripts field. As you can see, we have the global site tag and then an existing event snippet. Just add the new event snippet after the Closing Script tag. After you have added it, just click Save and it should do the trick. It can take up to 24 hours for conversion data to start appearing in Google Ads. Take note that if customers don't have cookies enabled in their browser, when they click on your ad and complete the conversion, conversion tracking won't work. That should be everything that you need to know in adding the Google Ads event conversion code to Shopify. Do you like this content? If you do, don't forget to like this video. Click the subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you will get notified in our next video.